guys what's up so today's video is going to be my foundation routine um i actually filmed this video and edited it and everything like that a couple of weeks ago to upload but i decided to refilm it again because in that video i was using um, a bb cream and i was also using a few different brushes that i don't really use anymore just because i don't like the application as much as I did back then um, and I kind of thought it was pointless to like film a foundation routine using a BB cream even though the BB cream is kind of like the same formulation in my opinion as a lightweight foundation but I just thought I'd refilm using an actual foundation. So anyways, um, the first thing that I'm using is the Clean and Clear Essentials Moisturiser with SPF 15. This is a really really nice lightweight moisturiser. And it's perfect for underneath makeup and it also does contain SPF. And I'm only going to be using, um, I'm only going to be showing you guys like my foundation, concealer and powder and how I apply all that. And then how I like bronze up my face to kind of match my body a bit more. I'm not going to be showing like contour and blush and stuff. If you want to see a separate video on that, I will do that. Um, so leave that in the comments below or I might just do it in the future. But I'm just going to show you guys my foundation. And then I'm going to go in with my foundation. Um, so the one that I'm using right now is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. And I'm in the shade 52. Um, I believe this might be a little bit too light for me. Um, I'm a bit tanned right now, as you can see. So I do match my foundation to the rest of my body. And all that I do is I actually just apply it directly to the brush. And I'm using the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. I really, really like this brush for foundation, especially lightweight foundations. It just blends it in really, really well. It's really, really soft, but it is quite like dense as well, and it doesn't shed. So these are by Samantha Chapman. I definitely recommend them. So I'm just going to take about two pumps like that, and then I just dot it. Well, it's already dotted like that. And then I just basically um, stipple it on first with the brush. And I'm just looking over there at the mirror, so I do apologise, but... I just need to see it a bit better. So I just dot it over. I'm just going to take a tad bit more just to put uh, where I have a few more blemishes. I really, really like this foundation. It's a really like lightweight foundation, but it does have good coverage and it just looks like your natural skin. Like it doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look like it just looks really, really natural and dewy. And then I also put it down my neck. And after I've applied my foundation, you can see it just evens out my skin tone quite well. Um, the one that I use, it's pretty good at covering blemishes to a certain extent, like obviously the redness has gone quite a bit, but I still like to use concealer. Um, so I'm using for under eyes the Garnier Tinted um, Roll-On Concealer, and I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes. This is a really good concealer. It's really liquidy, but it does have pretty good coverage. I don't normally have like two dark like under eye circles and then I use um, my ring finger just to blend that out. Yeah, my under eye circles usually aren't that bad so I can normally get away with just using like a lightweight concealer but I really like this one because it doesn't crease and it's quite lightweight so. For face, I normally don't like to use um, concealer on my face just because I like to limit the amount of products I use on my face just to avoid cakiness and I hate using concealer just because I think it like builds up over your foundation then you use powder and stuff like that. But obviously I need to use it today um, because I have blemishes. So I'm just going to use the Fit Me Concealer. This one is in the shade 10 Light. And all I do is apply it down my nose where I have some freckles on the side of my nose where I have some redness. I also apply it down like the sides here um, because I have some redness there and then just on any blemishes. Normally I only get blemishes around that time of the month but as I said because I've changed up my cleanser I'm pretty sure that's the reason I'm breaking out like crazy. So I'm just going to do that and then I'm just going to take my buffing brush and just like kind of stipple the concealer in. Um, this concealer is okay, I don't mind it too much, but as I said, I don't really like buying or using concealer that much on my face. Um, under eye concealer is fine, I always use that, but on my face I just hate using it, so I don't really care what one I use as long as it like covers pretty well and I can just use it when I do get the odd breakout here and there. And I don't really care about covering it up too much unless I'm you know, going somewhere really special. So that's that. 
and then I'm going to use a powder. Um, normally I like to use translucent powders just because it doesn't change the way like my foundation looks and stuff, but I didn't want to use one for this video. I thought that I'd just use a pressed one. So this is from Australis. It's the pressed powder in Deep Natural. And it looks like this. And then I'm going to use the Real Techniques blush brush. This is not a really great blush brush because like you can't really have any control over it but for powder it's quite good and the way that I like to apply powder which I actually got this kind of like tip off um, any Jaffrey but I like to apply it in like one direction on my skin just because I find like it is true when I like buff it around like this if I'm using quite a big fluffy brush um, it like moves around the foundation it can get a bit streaky and a bit cakey whereas when you put it in one direction it looks really good and I do prefer using brushes like this sometimes I like using like flat top brushes or brushes that kind of pack on the product but I find I get a more natural non cakey um, look with using a fluffy brush especially because my skin doesn't really get very oily throughout the day so I don't really need to like be covering my face in powder I'm just going to put it down there. I just kind of like to use powder to set my foundation more than to keep me matte looking. And then the last thing I'm going to do is bronze up my face a bit with the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. This is a bit orangey, but the ones, other ones I have are like pink toned. And then this is a model's prefer airbrush. And I'm just going to apply this just on like my cheeks and up to my temples. This just kind of bronzes up my face a little bit so that I'm not looking like so different coloured. And then I also apply this down my neck and then also just onto my chest area just to kind of like bring everything together so that it's not like too bronzed up on my face. Okay, so then what I would normally do is go in with my like contour or just my blush and like my highlight and stuff like that and everything else. But um, that is basically the final look that I'm going to show you guys today. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you had a bit more of an understanding of how I apply my foundation and stuff and how I like it to look. I don't like it to look too cakey but um, or cakey at all really, but this is just the most natural way that I do it. So yeah, um, hope you guys have a really, really good day and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.